What is up, you two? We are back. Sorry we skipped a week. Uh, fun fact, do you realize that I don't shave unless we film? So I was getting a little scruffy because wow. we skipped last week. So I apologize, fans. So obviously I don't shave fully, but you know, I trim up the neckline. Gotta trim it up. Anyway, I'm your host, Paul S. Stuffy Esquire, joined as always by Jay. Paul Stuffy thinks my entire boot collection looks the same. Goobles. It's true, he does. <laughs> and we are here for another watch review. So if you guys stay tuned, we've got some great footage coming for you. And a little sneaky peek, I'm wearing a Seiko because it ties in to the next watch we're going to talk about. It is Italian. So I've got the Seiko Presage cocktail time. I'm wearing Aviators, which is another tie-in, another clue. Mm. And we've got a huge sto snowstorm coming to the Caribbean of the North. So Hawaiian shirt seemed perfect. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. <laughs> stay tuned. Three, two, one. <laughs> Hey fans, we're back with the top angle, as you can see the lovely packaging, uh, I'm just showing you real quick again, for the Marlowe Watch Company Atlantic Flyer. Automatic chronoscope. Oh, don't forget that. It's a nice little book that it comes with. Uh, I like, what do you think of that color in the oh. face and then that color band? I love it. They, they actually... So I like that there's options in the... They have four different color options, I think, and I think all of them look good. Nice little card insert they give us. Okay, so let's start. Uh, what else can you tell us about the watch as I pull it out here, Jay Goobs? All right, so this is the Flyer, uh, which is a traditional Flieger aviation-style chronograph. Excellent. We love chronographs on this channel. Um, the cool thing, and, you know, I, it has a really good su uh, Supernova C3 luminescent paint on it. It's Excellent. bold. It's just a bold-looking big... Uh, now, Mainly. quick disclaimer, this uh, has been field tested. That's why you see a little bit of wear on the watch. But it's also kind of a vintage, you know, I feel it's got like that 1920s, 30s, World War One maybe feel to it, you know, with that leather. Oh, that leather strap is super comfortable, too. I mean, I've put it on a couple times, and it is really nice. Yeah, okay. Now, here uh, we're starting to show the movement. Now, like many micro brands, uh, they outsource their movement to other companies, uh, in this case, Seiko, which I'm a huge fan of, uh, provides the movement here. So what can you tell us about the uh, Seiko caliber? Oh, uh, yeah, this is the Seiko NE88 um, caliber, which is a chronograph column wheel, which is really nice. It's got uh, 45 hours of power reserve, 34 joules. Oh, yeah, you can see some of those in the back here. And it's got a vertical clutch, which is very cool at a chronograph movement at this price point, if you ask me. Yeah, that's a nice feature. And, I mean, the details of this company, from the packaging to their stamped name on the strap, their stamped logo, they've got the little M on the uh, metal buckle. Now, she's thick. Oh, what, yeah. Uh, what are we talking about in measurements here? All right, so... First of all, it's a 43 millimeter in diameter. So it's a little big now, but this is, uh, you know, our producer's watch. He likes them a little big. Yep. It's got a uh, 15 millimeter width. So it's, it's a thick song gun. Um, it's got 22 millimeter lugs. Wow. So it's a big lug to uh, lug. Um, you know, I, I, I'm having the hardest time finding actual lug to lug measurement on this. Um, but... Needless to say, it, it's a big watch. Yeah, I'm running the chronograph right here to show you. So one click to start, one click to stop again, and then the bottom, like most chronographs, resets it. So yeah. a very common operation. It has a very smooth action on it, too. Yeah, nice little click. Obviously, we're voicing over this so you don't hear uh, while I was clicking. Yeah, even that, uh, again, very aviation, that little buckle. Just gives me that vintage feel. And I'm a fan of vintage, you know, anything that's vintage-inspired, history-inspired. Yeah, very cool aviation-inspired timepiece uh, with 100 meters of water resistance, too. Yeah, so it's no 
slouch when it comes to action. Yeah, you definitely could not worry about getting in this wet. Now I wouldn't I wouldn't swim in it, but <laughs> now I'm struggling to put it on fans, but I have roughly a seven and three three eighths. Yeah, I would say you're just under seven and a half last time yeah, we uh, so measured. Give you a risk comparison, but you'll see what we're talking about with the height as I turn uh, to the one side. Yeah, she's a thick watch, but you know our this this watch belongs to uh, the producer. Yeah, of the channel, and you know he's got a bigger size wrist, and he he loves big watches, so the large size did not sway him at all. And I appreciate him uh, loaning us this watch, and uh, his Zinn German watch is one of our highest viewed watches. And there's a lovely little German opera at the end that I'm actually getting fined for, but it goes so well with the video that I don't care. Yeah, just a, just a really cool watch. And, you know, be honest with you, I don't even remember how he found because I yeah. hadn't even heard of this brand. He definitely introduced Marlo, and I'm glad we're able to indu- uh, introduce it to you. I like showcasing micro brands like we have in the past with Laurier. And it's just uh, nice to be able to show what people are out there trying to create. And we know Seiko's a quality movement. You know, I love Seiko. I'm wearing one today, uh, my Seiko Presage for this video. Yeah, you don't hear too much about this movement either. Like, I, I know they it have... called something else when it's a Seiko movement? Yeah, I, I'm trying to remember. It. I believe it is called the 8R28 when they're using it in their own Seiko products. But and it's when called... they're not outsourcing. It. Yeah, when it's outsourced, it's the NE88. Well, there you have the close-ups, fan. Okay, fans, uh, hope you enjoyed the close-ups. I actually wanted to come back. It's a little untraditional to do the unboxing afterwards, but their shipping package was really cool. Very good. Got nice. this old uh, Zeppelin. Their names imprinted everywhere. Really uh, solid packaging. Very aviation-inspired. Yeah. And a couple things we forgot in the close-ups or just didn't have time for, uh, where the company's headquarters are. So they're actually in Scotland. Scotland, And yeah. we couldn't pronounce the town, so we don't even want to try. But then on the back of the watch, it says design, a British design. So very a little confused about that. Yeah, we need to do a little more research. Obviously, this is our first uh, dealing with this company. And I wanted to go back to the book. I mean, there's a lot of other color choices. So you can get some color pops on the hands. Yeah, they have a lot of different... They have, four, I think, you said four, four different... And then to me, they all look Oh, there like, we go. Almost like a waffle pattern. Yeah. Uh, dial texture. So that's awesome. Yeah, it's very... And I love that cool. lighter... I would say that's British racing tan, that strap. Mm-hmm. That I like, that I keep going back to. Yeah, the blue that with the blue like dial. seems like a, a vintage race car. Yeah. Kind of steering wheel leather. That's what it reminds me of anyway. It, it's... So. It's a really cool brand, and, you know, and they have more than just the chronograph. They have other pieces, too, so definitely yeah, so check the check brand them out. out. Yeah, we like to give micro brands a shot. You definitely don't spend as much, and you know the movement. It's still going to be quality because, yeah, you, uh, like I had mentioned, Seiko. So You're getting a lot from your money with this brand, I think. Yeah, so I check really them do. out. I'll put a link uh, to their website in the description below. Marlo, M-A-R-L-O-E, not to be confused with Marlo from HBO's hit TV mm-hmm. show, The Wire. No, Marlo Stanfield, he's a terrible dude. Yeah, he did not design this watch. No. So don't confuse that, fans, in case you were. <laughs> in case you were confused, yeah. But thanks for tuning in again. Please, we are trying to get to that 1,000 subscriber mark. Like, share, subscribe, comment, spread the word. Hey, comment. Say what you like, don't like. Yeah, if, other watches. If you guys tried Marlow, let us know yeah, in the description. If there's anything we're missing about, you know, benefits or uh, downsides to Marlow, other micro brands. Yeah, what are some other micro brands that out? we should check out? So, thanks again for watching. Stay tuned and rock and roll.